Hello, darlings. Yes, it's me, that piece that everyone's dying to rest in, Elvira, M-O-T-D. Well, the dead don't get no rest in this movie because this story is a grave one. Well, actually, it's black and white, but it's still grave because they cast all the extras from a graveyard. So if you like zombies like I like zombies and you need brains just like I need brains, then you're in for a scary treat with plenty to eat. I'm very proud to serve up tonight's special because this movie put dozens of actors whose careers were dead back to work. Like me. It's Georgie A. Romero's carnivorous classic, Night of the Living Dead. Not to be confused with the documentary about the Rolling Stones. Now, the plot is kind of complicated, so it's going to take three of me to explain it. So, so people see brother and sister trying to get the brain gas and are dead. So how does this all make sense? Black people are going to have to stop by exploding and they turn the brain trap into a zombie. Now, I don't want to spoil the movie and your appetite, so it's best not to watch this movie on a full stomach because it won't be full for long. Unlike the zombies who can eat all they want, but they never seem to get an ounce. I guess it's on account of that uh, high protein, low carb diet. Anyway, it does have an equal opportunity ending because. Everyone dies equally in the end. <gasps> or do they? Let's find out together. So everybody, put your cell phones on vibrate, curl up with a bowl of popcorn, and pour some butter on the one you love. This is a special date night. The night of the living dead. Well, that was Night of the Living Dead. Now, I don't know if I should thank George Romero or spank him for starting a stampede of sequels. I mean, if he'd made it right the first time, he wouldn't have had to make it over and over and over again. I mean, Steven Spielberg never made no sequels. Oh, well, except for that Minnesota Jones movie. So, I think from now on there should be a ban on all sequels, starting with Spider-Man. Oh, but then, I'm secretly in love with Stan Lee, and we're partners in Kamikaze. And if nobody made any sequels, I'd be out of a job. So I say... Hit it! Oh, oh, with sequels, just see wherever you go. Up, up, with sequels, they're the same storylines you know. If more people make more sequels, then that equals on more prequels and more sequels. In the sequel Pleasant dreams.